Welcome to Fantastic Plastic, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Fantastic Plastic, I'll be presenting strategies and techniques for injection molded plastic part design using SolidWorks CAD software. I'm Andrew Lowe. I'm a senior industrial designer with the Demonic Group. The Demonic Group is a full service product development consultancy located just outside Chicago, Illinois. These video tutorials are adapted from the SolidWorks World 2017 presentation of the same name. And in this presentation, we'll be going through a number of topics discussing best practices for modeling plastic parts in SolidWorks. We'll start by taking a look at the master model workflow that we use extensively here at the Demonic Group, as well that we've taught some of our customers to use as well. We'll be discussing various ways that we can work with draft and add draft to our models for proper molding. We'll be taking a look at ways of modeling planar lip and groove geometry so our plastic parts align and interlock correctly. And then we'll move on for a more advanced non-planar lip and groove geometry, which can be tricky to model sometimes, but we have a really easy technique where we'll be showing. We'll be moving on to taking a look at some strategies for screw bosses and screw pockets that will help minimize sink on your plastic parts, which is an unsightly cosmetic defect. We'll be taking a look at speeding up the modeling process by leveraging patterns. We try to do work as efficiently as possible here at the Monty Group, and patterns are a great way of quickly creating repetitive geometry on plastic parts. We'll be taking a look at some multi-body part modeling strategies where we're working with multiple bodies using the shell tool and then finally combining multiple those multiple bodies back together at the end. This is a great way to easily model tricky geometry uh, when you don't have access to an entire feature tree and can roll to the desired point in that tree. I'll show a couple quick ways of verifying your shutoff geometry so that way you have a good steel condition for designing a potential undercut features that are formed by passing core cavity steel. We'll take a look at some situations where we actually need to model undercut geometry and some quick ways we can do that, as well as ways to prevent aesthetic details by incorporating some tricky undercuts in our model. We'll be taking a look at some advanced drafting techniques where we have parts with different pull directions coming together and their visual edges need to align. We are always focused on the utmost quality of our designs. We want to have the, uh, the original design intent captured as well as possible while still incorporating the correct details for molding of these parts. Uh, in our last session we'll be looking at ways of quickly modeling curves or ribs on curved surfaces. I hope you enjoyed this week's SOLIDWORKS video tutorial presented by the Demonic Group. Please subscribe to the Demonic Group on YouTube by clicking our logo on the bottom right of the screen to stay up to date on new video releases. As well, click the SOLIDWORKS icon to be taken to our website where you can download the example SOLIDWORKS files used in this week's video. And finally, check out other great content by the Demonic Group, Will It Fill It and Surfaces and Splines by clicking the video links on the left of the screen.